Hello guys, welcome back. OpenAI introduced this 4O image generation model a couple of days ago. So it's March 25, today is March 29, and everybody is talking about it, right? So many people are creating different images, showing the capacity of this particular model compared to the previous models. In this video, let's try to go through this blog post and let's see what it is capable of doing. And let's try with some examples with our own prompts and see how realistic the images are. And, and so on right but before starting also by the way if you are in a free version just to let you know that sometimes it does not work although it says for if i go here i am in image generation 4o model but then when i try to do this it says okay there is user cap for gpt4 randomly you might get access but you need the pro version to assess this particular model so this is where i'm logged in into the pro version and now it is working just to let you know that Let's get started. Okay, this is the blog post. It says the unlocking useful and valuable image generation with natively multimodal capable of precise, accurate, photorealistic outputs. The good part is there are some of the prompts that is being provided which generates this particular image. And you can see just, just when I'm speaking, I will copy this prompt first. Let me copy this, control C, paste it. Let me go back when I'm going through this, it will be generated under the hood. And now you can see the image is being generated. You can see a view of the photograph and it is shown here. This is a prompt being provided. Here useful image generation or go here and so meaningful words. What are the different things you need? And I find it also really good because some of the LLMs fine tuned for image generation can generate the image now and then. But then it's difficult with the wordings. Whenever I try to provide some words, it is not correct or the spelling is mistaken. It is kind of an AI generated kind of things. But this one, it's kind of good. You can see from this example, it doesn't seem at the first place that it is generated by the AI, right? It's kind of realistic things. And there is this comic things you can create and these science experiments and so on. So you can imagine the capability of this particular model, either in your personal use cases or in the business or whatever you want. You want to create some visual visuals or logos. It's quite handy if it works as it is shown here because the main difficulty was in providing the text inside the image. So there you go, right? When I'm talking about this, let me go there. It says, okay, thanks for the deal description. That image sounds like an intriguing mix. Would you like me to go? Unfortunately, I cannot generate or recreate an image like that due to policy restrictions and so on. I don't know after releasing this, there is some kind of policy restrictions, but then it says, would you like me to go ahead and styled version of that? And I can say, yes, go ahead. Let's see what it will produce because once this is published, many people try different prompts. Now the system prompt under the hood is kind of changed. So there is some kind of a policy violation and all the different things when it is showing us the answer. But one thing before going into the, into the documentation, I want to show you that it does not generate the image directly. First, it will lay out it and you can see it layouts and it generates on the top and then it follows auto regressively. So I will go to one LinkedIn post from Peter. I'll show you later. He has explained what this is in, in simple terms. So first you can see it layouts here. This is the image, but now it will generate the top first, then other parts of the image rather than the whole image at once. You can see it is generating as we speak, right? Now let's go back into this one. There are different things here useful image generations from the first cape different things characters improved capabilities text rendering this is what i was referring to right a picture is worth a thousand words but generating a few words in the right place can elevate the meaning of an image for words ability to blend precise symbols with imagery turns image generation into a tool for visual communications i fully agree you can see the street signs the menu the invitations being created multi-tone generations the image generation is now native to gpt 4o you can refine image through natural conversations gpt 4o can build upon images and text in the chat context ensuring consistency for example designing a video game character those characters appearance remains coherent across multiple iterations as you refine and experiment that's what i was, I was mentioning you can you can do this in in last video i explained you about promptings and so on right so the good part here is you need to do the iteration and iteration evaluate it and again provide good prompts into it and until you reach the final 
good answer out of that LLM because LLM directly does not provide you the good answer first, the, uh, first place in many cases. You need to reiterate it, evaluate it and again iterate it and go to the final one. So yeah, there are some prompts for you to try also here. And now you can say here, this is this instruction following. So GPT-4 owes image generation follows detailed prompts with the attention to detail. While other systems struggle to five to eight objects, GPT-4 can handle up to 10 to 20 different objects. The, the tighter binding of objects to their traits and relations allow for better control. So you can see here, it says this, 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 16 objects and so on. It will do the thing for us in context uh, learning so gpt 40 can analyze and learn from user uploaded images seamlessly integrating their details into its context to inform image generation yeah it, it so you can it, the example is shown here already so you can see there are different images that is being uploaded there and it knows the in context learning and it provides the right answer the first thing would be just for you just go here and try things yourself there are different other other things also here and photo realism and style and there are different things here but also there is some kind of limitations right the good part here is they even acknowledge that okay we have some limitations and so on. so there are some limitations cropping so when the image is too big it says we have noticed the pt4 who can occasionally crop longer images and so on right and there is hallucinations high binding problems precision graphing and multi-lingual text renderings and so on so there is also this editing precision with smaller text and so on so it's good they know the limitations meaning that in the future we can expect these things to be you know, solved one way or another this is the blog post i'll provide the link in the description better to go through all the prompts they provided and try it yourself to see how it behaves so yeah you can see here it creates this the text here is quite good the information is quite good before going into the next one what i want to show you is how is the image being generated right so this is from peter gostep so he has mentioned here really good uh, that open ai has not released much about how gpt4 image generation works the blog post also there isn't that much of how it works but there is like what it is capable of doing so let's see what we can deduce the significant difference uh, compared to the traditional image generation model is that the 4o is auto regressive model this essentially means it streams token sequentially similar to how it generates the text in contrast diffusion based processes like mid journey dolly stable diffusion typically transition from noise to clarity in a single step so this is what we also noticed that it it is creating the image as it goes it helps leverage the knowledge embedded in its model weights and generate images more coherent by streaming tokens sequentially you can go here or pause the video right now and read all the different things but if you see here how does gpt4 generate images so this image is quite good here so 1x zoom image 1 image 2 image 3 image 4 right it is streaming tokens from top of the image while adjusting the previously generated tokens so tokens are streaming top down pixels are adjusting throughout so that is how it is being trained and, the, the, and that's the reason it is quite good not to go into too technical right now so yeah let's go back here this is the image I tried some images one was this studio version which generates these images i said this and just provided this and it it generates this image and and i said here help me create a logo for my youtube channel at the science basics uh, it says okay these are the things that you need to do and i said yeah go ahead and okay this is it generates but if i click this you can see it says data science basics but the background is not there we can adjust the prompt and make it better but the main thing is the text i am super excited because the text is correct it does not seems like it is generated by the ai that's the big big thing out here and this is what I just tried, but I I tried some other things also. You can see this is the images also creating image of tens individual flowers with the transparent background. Although it is not transparent here, in black and white things. If I click this, okay, this is this is how it is it is shown here. This is also the example that I took from the Peter because under the hood it kind of generates these black and white things and then the image uh, transparent is being applied on top of that so i want to have it background transparent and it generates this one 
and so on if you want to read more also if you go to the post from peter i took the example from him so it says here gpt4 can generate images with transparent backgrounds but how right it generates fake check out black uh, background and then has an extra step to remove it in the test plan green check out background during the interim steps so for me it didn't work i use the same prompt you can see the same prompt generates the image of flowers with black and white things in the interim interim image and the final image transparent background the second one with the green and meaning that we need to provide some prompt and it will follow that so it is also explained here and someone this mac george and others have spotted this and explained it in the post you can go through this post and also read what it is how it is been doing and so on because not everything is provided by open ai so people like him and others who are doing the research around this helps us know what is happening under the hood right one thing it's not perfect i said remove background and you can see is this image and this image same no it removes or changes textures somebody doesn't want i just want to change the background but it changes mm, other things i say use northern lights in the background open both eyes it works surprisingly well but you can see this image and this image kind of same but then it does something not asked i said northern lights both eyes open that's fine right but it's changing how the image looks so that's it i said create an image of tense all the different things i think this is really good good model out there to try and it has never been that easy to generate images and change the texture of the images and play around with the image there are many things you can do uh, based on this blog post right go through the blog post try with just the examples that it is shown here also helps you learn many things what the model is uh, capable of i just tried this i liked it that's why i think a video like this will help you know what it is capable of doing thank you for watching and see you in the next one